Bitcoin is up, but U.S. markets are down. You tweeted this morning, another rocky morning for S&P futures, not feeling that correlation in BTC too much right now. So, you know, market swings in Bitcoin have often been linked to market swings in U.S. indices. Uh, are they decoupling now? I think we're temporarily seeing some kind of decoupling. I think there's a lot of eyes on Bitcoin right now as it's past these key levels. And I think... You know, there's this. There's a few headwinds in the narrative behind Bitcoin right now. You've got the fiscal policy and, and fiscal stimulus that people are believing is going to lead to inflation. You've got it uh, in this institutional adoption or the narrative adoption. And I think that many people today may be looking as, you know, this pullback might be my chance to, to you know, add to my position or to, to start a position. And so I think that the risk off in equities right now and it, it seems to have come back a little bit today um all right it hasn't crept into bitcoin yet on top of that we have a couple of charts the bitcoin perpetuals future perpetual futures average funding rate what does this chart tell us this chart tells us that there are more people looking to borrow money to go long the futures um, than there are to go short the futures. And what the funding rate is, is all of the perpetual futures, um, you know, trade relative to a spot index. And depending on how far away from that index the perpetual future is trading, either the longs or shorts will have to pay the difference. All right, so and in this case, people are much more bullish than they are bearish in terms of those two relative uh, prices. So is it overbought, over leveraged? Is there volatility in the horizon? It, it, so it's funny you say that because it looks like, you know, people are very bullish, uh, open interest is at record highs. And generally what we've seen in the past is when you have such a high level of open interest, when you have these pullbacks, you see these cascades of liquidations. And uh, ever since the Tesla announcement about the $1.5 billion coin in the balance sheet, when you've had those pullbacks, they haven't been as uh, brutal as they been in the that's kind of interesting people may be picking up the the dip unlike they were prior on those offs but um generally with greater open interest you can get a, a goal of volatility all right so is there i i guess does that uh lessen any concerns about an impending crash everyone wants to know you know how long will this go uh will there be a price crash so i think as long as you see that uh institutional bid or or you know, people looking to acquire, bidding up those spot markets on the crash. Um, you know, we we probably won't see quite a pullback as we've seen in the past. However, when people that, that are over leveraged and so much open interest, it just generally leads to a, a greater pullback. But so far, it looks like that trend has been bucked a little bit and yeah. there haven't been as, as brutal pullbacks. John, did you get to hear our last interview with uh, our JP Morgan strategist, uh, Nikolaus Penegertzoglu? He... He said that, you know, institutional interest, it's just not there. We're not hearing from it. There seems to be a gap between uh, the announcements that, like we saw with Tesla and, and GBTC and investments in Bitcoin trusts. We're not seeing that institutional uh, announcement. But uh, do you disagree with that? I think the point he was, he, he may have been trying to get at is you're not as many corporate treasuries put it on their balance sheet as you are institutional investors. I do think that there there likely still is quite a few um, funds looking to get exposure to Bitcoin. Um, and so I would separate that from institutions, but it's just large values that have been in the space in the past. All right. Regionally, do you see any differences in how people are trading in Asia, Europe, and North America, how they're responding to Bitcoin and buying it up or selling? In the, um, you know, regulatory, Break up by area and, and the decentralized nature. It's it's hard to get a, a real feel on the the difference in in which geography is really, um, you know, bidding or, or selling. You, you see these, you know, on Twitter that you know this one area is is selling every day or something like that. But I don't um, I don't know how much truth there is behind that. Predictions for twenty twenty one. Yeah, I think if uh, I think if. There's continued interest. We'll we'll likely see you know just a, a continued tick up, uh, as well as you know with more um, fiscal stimulus. There'll likely be continued interest in the space. 
However, with all the open interest, we may see some more volatility ahead. 